Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I want to share with you all my 2022 house plan wish list. <laughs> so if you're interested in the plants that I want to get my hands on this year and add to my collection, then keep on watching. <laughs> So welcome back everybody okay before I get into the plant wish list you may or may not hear crunching and Lola showing herself in the video I just want to say that I've mentioned in the past in other videos that my plan my aim as a plant parent moving forward is to one not have an overly large collection that I just feel so exasper exasper exasperated I think that's the word I'm looking for I just feel just so overwhelmed I want to have something that I can maintain control and enjoy and the plants all of them bring me joy again I just want to bring plants with purpose that bring me joy that do not overstress me point blank period all right so now with the wish list I'm going to just separate it from foliage type plants and yes cactus I have a love, a just I've always had cactus in my collection, so I do want to increase my collection in that aspect. Less so foliar, but more, you know, cactusy. Oh, something went in my eye. So, with that being said, the first plant on my 2022 wish list can you guess? Drum roll, please. <laughs> A variegated money tree. Yes, a variegated Pachira aquatica. This plant has been on my wish list for quite some time and it's still a wish list. Sometime last year, I had one of my salty pecans send me this local New Yorker who was selling some plants and they sent me one type of plant and I was just like, oh, for the price, I'll go past it. Then I went like, I swiped to the next available plant and it was a variegated money tree. And lo and behold, it was sold out. And it was for such a great price. This person was selling for 110 and that's like a variegated money tree for 110. I felt like I really missed out, I loved out. But I'm still on the hunt out. I'm still on the hunt for one. If you know where I could find a variegated money tree, if you yourself are selling one or are willing to trade me one trade, then hit me up in my Instagram DMs at houseplant, H-A-U-Z-P-L-A-N-T. And with that being said, before I continue to the next plant on my 2022 wish list, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up, give it a like right now if you love wish lists, plant wish lists. And also in the comment sections, share with me your 2022 plant wish list. And now let's get to plant number two that I would love to get my hands on. Can you really guess? All right, let me try to give you all a little hint and see if you can get it. This is my favorite type of Hoya and I want to complete my Hoya collection. Can you guess which Hoya I'm speaking about? Comment below if you can get it. I'm gonna give you five seconds. It is the Hoya Compacta Jody Silver. That is the next Hoya plant on my wish list. I have been wanting a Jody Silver for so long and I still want a Jody Silver. I need one. Please let me know if you are willing to again sell or trade one to me because I need it in my collection. Please. So the next plant in my 22 plant wish list is none other than the philodendron strawberry shake yes i mentioned this plant before i still want it it is so beautiful it is one of those plants it's like a step up from a pink princess a step up from a white knight you know it is just a step up from all those beautiful variegated philodendrons that have the pinks and the whites but the strawberry shake has like creams and it's just the caramels and the pinks and the whites and the greens and the mints it is just such a beautiful combination of a plant i would love to get my hands on a strawberry shake this year so this plant is a little different compared to the other ones i have mentioned this one is the syngonium frosted heart i have not wanted a particular syngonium on my wish list 
for a while since I believe the variegated the album you know Singonium I haven't really had like an eye for one until I seen the frosted heart it is so beautiful it looks like there's nothing like a combination of a green and silver plant just in nature that is such a beautiful combination we're used to seeing the bright colors but silver plants in general have a place in my heart I have this whole like concept of a silver wall which I tried to do and then I pretty much did not go <laughs> further into doing it so I do eventually want to do that silver plant wall and add basically all my silver plants onto that trellis situation but one day maybe this year maybe this spring summer I don't know we shall see all right I have such a love 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 sad cry love love relationship with the next plant I'm going to mention it is a Hoya and it is a Hoya that I've had in my collection twice already no I believe I've had this Hoya in my collection four times okay the first time I purchased it overseas and it was beautiful it was amazing it was lovely then I got another one from Plants Arena it was beautiful too lovely great isn't she beautiful isn't she lovely then the third those two ended up just like frying and dying I was able to care for them during the colder months but when the summer came around I got really busy and the heat was just really intense in New York and where it was located was just getting too much sun too dry too for too long and maybe my weekly by weekly watering was not sufficient for it it probably needed like every other day sort of watering so Hoya Linearis is the next plant on my wish list I want a full pot the third bout I had with it was like I found it online from I think the same seller I had it sent over to me but it was just really dry really not happy and it pretty much died then the last one was recently I did a uh, Elf's birthday swap and the person sent me like a uh, like a uh, two two like one note cuttings and those did not uh, root not the best of luck with the linearis but again if I get my hand on a full healthy pot I promise to never let it die in my collection and the first one that I got which was so beautiful it, it started to like bud and it was about to flower and then the leaves just started falling and dropping and it was just so sad I was so sad so Hoya Linearis I need one of those babies in my collection so the last and final sort of foliar plant is the philodendron jopii I think that's how you pronounce it jopii it's the J-O-E-P-I-I, -I, the Joe P.I. That is a beautiful sort of, sort of unique foliar philodendron. I love how large the potential of the foliage has the ability to get like pretty much all of these philodendrons. And it's beautiful. I want it. It's pricey. It goes, you know, in the thousands sometimes for just... A nice beautiful looking one so that's the next one in my collection my wish list for 2022 who knows I would love to trade someone for one one day so the next category of plants I'm going into are the sort of the cactus plants I love cactus I have quite a few cactus I have pretty good sort of luck with them they're pretty much you know what they need and you just let them do their thing you know, always keep an eye out for pests. All plants, always keep an eye out for pests. Pests are everywhere. They're inevitable. Check out my little, uh, what is this situation called? My reel on it. I'm going to tag it here. So the first cactus on my 22 cactus collection wish list. That didn't make sense. But you know what I mean. Is the, I have it written down here. It's the Astrophytum CV on Zuka. I think that one is so pretty. It is beautiful. I would like that one. In my collection, I do not have any astrophytums. I think also the astrophytum, the Kabuto sort of astrophytums are really nice. So the first one is the astrophytum CV on Zuka. Eee, sorry if I mispronounced it. The next cactus in my wish list is the Bishop Cap. It's it's so pretty. I love just I love it. It's so unique. I love how it's shaped. I love the color and the potential of it. Um, Bishop Cap wish list 
cactus for 2022. The next cactus on my 2022 wish list is the Grey Ghost Organ Cactus. It, this is like a pretty unique looking one. I love this grayish effect that these cactus have. You know, that gray blue um, coloring that they have, that look they have caused by that waxy outer cuticle layer that's there for their protection. So that's the next cactus on my wish list. So the next one is the Optunia Variegated. I don't own any sort of those Optunia style of cactus, but I would love to have the variegated one in my collection. And I know sometimes depending on how the sun stresses it, it can even maybe like turn purple-ish, like stress. So I would love to have that one in my 22 plant collection. I have a few more cactus that I want. It's in my wish list for this year. The next one is the Sirius Peruvian Cactus. I, I love the Sirius. I have the Sirius for Bessie I like the Sirius Peruviana, Peruvian. It's really unique. I love how just distorted, like, oh, look at me. I'm, oh, uh, uh. You know, it looks really cool, really unique. I would love to have it to add it next to my Spiralis Cactus. I'm I'm still not sure why I don't have this one yet. I had the ability, the chance to get it once and the order ended up not even going through. So this year I would love to add it and it is the, Euphor the Euphorbia Amic, Amac Variegated. I'd love to have the variegated Amac, Amic, I can't even like properly pronounce how you probably say it depending on where you're from. That one, I love just how you, the, again, how it looks, how it grows, the coloration, just the uniqueness of it. The next cactus on my wish list for this year is the, alright, I'm going to butcher it so let me look at this. It's the Lophosirius Scotii Monstros. I don't know why I said that right, but that <laughs> it looks really cool. I would love to have that on my wish list for this year. Well, it's on my wish list, but I would love to have it in my collection this year. Again, these cactus have been on my wish list for, you know, the last two, three plus years ever since I found out about them. So I would love to add it in 2022, finally, in my cactus collection. There are three more cactus that I want to mention, and third, but certainly not last is the all right how do i say the pillow serious pacocletus i love how that looks so beautiful so interesting definitely would love to add that one in my collection the second to last is the old man cactus i think the old man cactus is so unique how hairy so furry i just am so intrigued by cactus that grow like that they have the little outer filmy layer that i don't know if whether it protects them or they like breed and harbor pests either way it's so cool and I just want to brush them out like I do my cats the last but certainly not least is this is a long one it's a mouthful that's what he said it is the Trichosevus Bridgesii Forma Montrose Inner Mies Yes, welcome to my Latin seminar, the Tricocerius Bridgesii Forma Montrosina. is the last <laughs> cactus in my collection that I would, well, the last cactus on my wish list I would love to add in my collection this year. This was quite a few plants, but I have one more plant before I end that is not a cactus, nor is it sort of a foliar type of plant, and it is the, yes, I really want a mounted staghorn fern in my collection. Over the past year or so, I just have been falling in love and in love and in love with them. Every time I see them in someone else's videos or on their photos on social media, I'm like, I need this in my collection. I feel like a fiend, but I really want one in my collection. So 
Oh my gosh, I don't know how many plants that was. So if you haven't already, again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Join with this little cookie family because we're pretty awesome here. Become a salty pecan and make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on my other social media platforms at houseplant, H-A-U-Z-P-L-A-N-T. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy cactus and foliar or general uh, plant wish list. If you, of course, would love to trade any plants that I have on this wish list with me, then definitely, like I said, you can hit me up on my Instagram at houseplant, again, H-A-U-Z-P-L-E-N-T, you'll have it here. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye!